everyone good evening happy easter to you i'm here this evening to say happy easter to you uh how have you been let's quickly pray i just do uh, a quick look at the word of god let's pray father in jesus name we thank you this evening for this opportunity to hear your word we know you have a word for us we accept the word we understand the word Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. I do, yeah. I just came to say happy Easter. Um, it's not going to be a long video. I'm going to look at um, some Bible scriptures that will benefit you. Praise God. Happy Easter. What is Easter? Easter is one of the oldest celebration done by the Christians. Um, Easter... Uh, is a celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Some Christians don't practice um, Easter, but for some reasons they give. But wherever the bottom line is that Christ was raised. Hallelujah! Christ after he died, after three days he rose from the dead, and now he is alive. That's the bottom message that we are really concerned about. That Christ was risen and uh, we're taking out the day to celebrate and thank God that he was risen. Praise God. We're going to quickly just look at uh, Matthew 28, 1 to 6. We're going to be looking at the resurrection and we're going to see what he has done for us, where we are now. You're going to know that if, if you believe in Christ, you, uh, you have power, you're not ordinary. You don't have to go to anywhere to anywhere for help you don't have to go start looking for help from anyone you don't have to start looking for help from anyone you have power you have to go seeking spiritual help somebody to help you spiritually here and there you don't need that on your home with what christ has done by dying for you by getting up from the raising up from the grave being raised from the 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 dead you have power you're going to see that and that power you can use it if you are a believer you can you don't have to go to looking for spiritualists prophets or anybody to come and uh to come and help you to come and use power for you native doctor voodoo is voodoo uh priest to come and do something for you you yourself you have power so we're going to get to that place but let's start by looking at matthew 28 1 to Says, it says, in the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. It's a countenance was like lightning, lightning, and its raiment with um, white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the woman, the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come and see the place where the Lord lay. Praise God. Come and see the place where the Lord lay. Hallelujah. So, I'm looking at verse 6. It says, he is not here, for he is risen. Hallelujah. He is risen. Praise the Lord. Let's look at the book of Luke 24, 1 to 8. Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and setting others with him, with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre, and they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed, 
Thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments, and as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the head, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how the how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered unto the hands of sinful men, and be crucified, and the third day risen again. And they remembered his ways. He is not here, but is risen. Hallelujah. Christ rose from the dead after three days. They went looking for him, and they saw that he was no more there in the tomb, but he is risen. Christ is risen. We are happy he is risen. Some people say that he did not really die, that some people that he fainted. He did not faint. He died. He died. If you want to look at the tomb, you are adapting that maybe is a lie. Just buy a ticket and go to Israel. You will see the tomb there where Christ was buried and where he rose up after three days. It's still there till today. You can go and look at it for yourself. So it's not a story. It's not a main story. For those that don't believe, it is true. Buy a ticket and go to Israel. And you are going to see that Christ is risen. And when you come to believe in him, he will fill you with his spirit. And with that spirit that will be in you, you will know by yourself that Jesus Christ is real. Nobody will have to tell you. Hallelujah. It's not a long video. I'm just going to wish you happy Easter. We're going to run, um, round off with this scripture, Ephesians 2, 6. It's a very short video to wish you happy Easter. I love you. Ephesians 2, 6. It, and I read from verse 4. But God who is rich in mercy, for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when he were dead in sins, are quickened us together with Christ. By grace, he has saved. And has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places with Christ. Hallelujah. This year was going to that. For when you are born again, you are a believer in Christ. You, God make you to sit in heavenly places. We that are Christians are sitting down with Jesus Christ in heavenly places. That we are sitting down. And the Bible makes us to know that that place is a place that is far above principalities and powers. So as a Christian, you are, you are sitting down with Jesus Christ. I read it again. And has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible made us know that when Christ was um, Christ right now when he was raised, went to heaven to go and sit down in the, at the right hand of God in heavenly places. Praise God. Let me just quickly add this Ephesians 1. Ephesians 1. Let me just look at that. From 20. Let me see. I'm going to read from 18. Let's see. One from 20, which Ephesians 1 from 20 to 23, which he rose in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principalities and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world but also in that which is to come. And had put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is body and fullness of him that filleth all in all. You know, Ephesians 2 6 already told us that we are seated with Christ. We asked that if you are born again, you are still there with Jesus Christ. And now, Ephesians 1 21, um, Ephesians 1 uh, 20 to 23 is telling us that where that, where that seat, where Christ is. Tell us more about it. We say, which he wrote in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. That way we are still with, our, our, our with Christ. He said, far above all principalities. As a Christian, you have power, as a Christian, over our principalities. He said, and power. 
You don't need any power from anybody. If you know you have power, use, use it in the name of Jesus. Use it over that sickness. You say, but the Bible says, by the stripes of Christ, you have been healed. That power that Christ has put in you as a Christian, use it for everything. Um, he, said, he said, for far above principalities and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this, in this world, but also in that which is to come. Hallelujah. And has put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. So we as Christians, we are now Christ died and rose up. Now he is sitting down with Jesus Christ. I mean, sorry, with God. Sitting with God. We are sitting down with Christ in heavenly places, far above principalities and powers and dominion and everything. We have we are, we, are, we are more than witches. We are more than demons. We are no witch can or demon or whatever can do you anything. We are more than all evil powers. Because we Christians that believe in Christ are seated with Christ in heavenly places, far above dominion, powers, principalities, and name it. If you know your rights in Christ, you will exercise it. So happy Easter to you. Thank God Christ died. After three days, he rose up from the dead, and now he's seated with Christ, and we are seated, seated, with, seated with him. That's what I came to tell you this evening, that you are seated with Christ in heavenly places. Hallelujah. Use your power as a Christian. And if you are there not born again, this evening I tell you, give your life to Jesus Christ. Say this prayer after me, and you'll be saved. And as you say this prayer, start going to church. Let and, and you're going to be filled with the Holy Ghost, and you're going to remain the same person again. Your eyes of understanding is going to be enlightened, and you're going to see the sweetness, the power in Christianity. Hallelujah! You're going to see the protection in Christianity, you're going to see the, the abundance, the, 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 the grace in Christianity. I'm going to pray for you. Let's pray for not born again right now. Say after me, Lord Jesus, today I accept you into my heart to be my savior to be my lord i believe you came and you died for my sins and after three days you rose from the dead thank you lord jesus for dying for me thank you lord jesus father god in heaven thank you for sending your son from today i'm your child in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for those that are giving their lives to Christ through this video. I pray that you lead them, you guide them, you, 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 tell, you, you by your spirit, you help them step by step to grow in you, to know you more, to serve you. Thank you, Lord God, for, for everyone that will watch this video because they will be blessed and they will be lifted. And those that will seek, those are not born again amongst them, they will seek you and they will find you and they will be established in your heart. In your house, and that power that you have given us, of course, is going to work in them. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, Amen. You are blessed. I just want to say happy Easter with this short video. I love you so much. I pray that the purpose of God for your life will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Until I come again next time, just remain blessed. God is with you, you are safe and protected. Evil is far from you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Bye for now.